Today I'm going to show you uh, Pakal angles. Pakal is reverse grip with both uh, suck suck and Pakal. In PTK, they typically grip with the thumb and index finger open, using these three fingers only to create grip. Um, one possible reason is that these fingers serve as an extended guard, like the guard on the the guard on the knife, but extended to prevent me from cutting myself so that when I'm working at very close quarters, my thumb and my finger, when, the, when those touch my body, I know exactly where the knife is and I'm not cutting myself. That thumb keeps the blade away from me. So, right side, if you're right-handed, you have the, the, the knife in your right, right side forward. If you're left-handed, you have the knife in your left, left side forward. I'm right-handed, so right side forward. My other hand is on my chest, out of the way. Angle one begins from here at the shoulder and it comes down at a diagonal. The target could be the well of the neck, or it could be the side of the neck. Or if the person leans back, it could be the chest. Or I suppose, if you're quite a bit taller, it could be the top of the head. So, one, follows all the way through and comes back here to the other shoulder. Two, comes across diagonally this way. Three is a vertical, it comes straight down overhead. The target is the top of the head and it stops, boom, right there. The target could also be the chest if they lean back. Boom, it stops right there because the danger here is that I continue too far and I stab myself in the leg. There are two ways, two strategies for preventing that from happening. Now, you know, the other person could make that happen by slipping, controlling your arm or your hand and accelerating your knife into your leg. So there are two ways to prevent that. One is um, to make sure that you stop on the number three. The, the, the one is fluid. The two is fluid. The three, boom, stops right there. And really just let that follow through. So one, two, right? One, two, one, two. I'm using body rotation and momentum. I'm not slowing it down. I'm not going one, bring it up, two. I'm letting it flow. One, two, three. And stop it right there. One, two, three. The other strategy would be to step forward with the left foot so that my right leg is no longer forward. So that, I'll show you. Right now I have my right leg forward, so if I come to the three and I go too far, I hit myself in the leg. But if I take a step forward with this leg, now the right leg is back and I have a lot more room to move through with that number three and there is much less risk of stabbing myself in the leg. So I could start right side forward, I could go one, two, three, stepping forward with the left, let me move back. Right leg forward, one, two, step with the left, three, now the right leg is back and there's a lot of room here. So either way, either stop short with it, or step forward with the left. One, two, three.